In this video, we're going to go through how to get your phone stand onto the laser. So the first thing is we want to actually make sure that we've saved our DXF correctly from Inkscape. Uh, if you don't remember saving your DXF, you might want to go back to Inkscape, open that back up. Then we're going to go to File and Save As. So that we can come to this drop down here and change the file type to a DXF file. Uh, it's for a desktop cutting plotter, which is essentially how our laser acts. Remember to change the name and save it to your H drive. When you hit the save button, it should pop up a second window that asks you to save it with some specific options. The most important thing from this window is to change your base unit, make sure that it's millimeters. Our laser software and the laser itself works in millimeters, and so far we've done everything either in inches or pixels. So if it says PT, PX, or IN, it's not gonna communicate the same way, so make sure it's millimeters. Then click OK. You'll need to use a flash drive to transfer your file over to the lab. So plug in your flash drive. And remember that with our flash drives, we might get this pop-up box that there's a problem with the drive. We don't need to scan it or fix it. You can just hit the X button and still use the drive normally. Now, for our file, uh, it's in my H drive to start, so I'm going to go to my H drive, find my file, the DXF one, and I'm going to click and drag it, drop it into the USB drive so that I'm copying it there. Then I can go ahead and unplug the USB drive and take it into the lab.